Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Conrad Stevens' Paranormal PI. They've been going absolutely crazy with this game. They've been doing an update every single week. And in this latest update, they have added the release system for intelligent ghosts. And intelligent ghosts are by far the most interesting ghosts in the game because they can actually interact with the player. They can talk to you on your equipment. And they also have some of the most worked out backstories in the entire game. They're my favorite types of ghosts. And in this video, we're gonna go through through almost all of them, releasing them uh, and telling you all about their backstories and their stories. It's super cool. I hope you enjoy. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. But let's not waste any more time. And let's hop into the game. Let's go. All righty. Here we go. So which ghost do we want to do first? I think the ghost I want to release first is Connor's ghost. We have so many intelligences, by the way. I think intelligence is the most common ghost because if you look here... Uh, this is an intelligent. That is an intelligent. Uh, and then over here, we have also quite a few. We have, uh, you are an intelligent, you're an intelligent. So, I mean, I'm guess, I guess we're just gonna go absolutely crazy today, and we're gonna just go through all of these ghosts and release all of them. I think starting with Connor right here, uh, who is in Evergreen Lane. Now, I do have to quickly grab your relic, because we brought that back to the museum over here. Which is, oh wait no it's not here wait a minute where'd the relic go i guess i guess we're gonna have to find it in the map then uh let's get in there all righty now this is the ghost i know the mo the most about because we have recently done a full investigation on this one on some of the other ones that we're gonna uh release today we're gonna have to do a little bit more of an investigation uh be or we're gonna have to like do some research beforehand uh the way the release system works in this game is that you um Use a smudge stick to start the ritual, and then you basically get a short exam on if you have paid very close attention to the reason the ghost is here and why they don't want to move on. Like, what is what is the reason they're still hanging on to this world? Um, where is the relic, though? I think it's around here, because we're going to need the relic. Uh, let me quickly find it. Oh, there, there it is. There it is. There it is. Okay, so this is the relic. Uh, you find it in the map. You can also find it with the EMF sensor, but it's 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 better to just look around and find it. Um, and then when you have the relic, you can start the ritual, which is probably going to be over here. So you grab a smudge stick, you light it, which you just do by clicking, and then you look for the area of the map where the flame, where the smudge stick goes crazy and it starts like s spewing fire, uh, which I'm guessing is going to probably be over here. No, maybe over here. There it is, there it is. Okay, so in this corner, you can start a ritual. We're gonna place this one. Oh, hi. It's different for every single type of ghost. I've never seen an intelligent exorcism. What the hell is going on? Excuse me? Hey there. What's this? Which ghost are you trying to communicate with? We are trying to communicate with, uh, oh, I think, wait. It's Paul. It was Connor, right? I'm assuming it's... Is it Robert Connor? I think it's Robert Connor. I'd like to acknowledge yeah. Robert Connor's presence. I just remember Connor. I didn't remember his first name. Oh, it's going all over the place. Where the hell are you going, dude? You're too fast. <laughs> hey, wait for me. Wait for me. What the fuck? Oh, you're out in the middle of nowhere. What the hell are you doing out here? What is the spirit's attachment? Your spirit's attachment is a... Is that a chevron? Because it's not any of the other ones. I'm guessing this is what that's called. You went through unimaginably horrific circumstances to protect our country. I'm very saddened by the burden you carry. But just like your family and brothers, I'm also very proud of your bravery. Let's go. Let's go, Connor. So, or uh, Conrad. So Connor was a, was a soldier went to war and then came back with with ptsd who, which led to him eventually taking his own life which is it's a very tragic story some of the ghosts in this game are pretty damn like their, their stories are very sad i mean i'm assuming it's gonna be this i can't imagine how difficult it was to carry these memories i believe your brothers know of your bravery and are incredibly proud to have served beside you your parents are proud of you too Aww. They tried to help you the best they could. It is all right to let go of these memories and be at peace with your loved ones. And there you go. Oh, hi there. Goodbye. 
I'll see you in the next next life. There he goes. Damn, dude, this system is so cool. It is like it's it's so beautiful. Like I called it when I when the first update that introduced like the first release uh, part of the release system I launched. Sure I put this oh yeah, I need to take the relic. Safe. I called it the most beautiful update, and I still fully stand by this. Like this is the most meaningful update we've ever seen in a ghost hunting game just because it like so f perfectly ties together the entire gameplay like you spend we've spent like over a year two years uh like learning about all these ghosts and now we get to like finally set them free it feels like it feels very cathartic so yeah there you go we have the gi ghost is now free and we're gonna do that same uh, same thing for all the other ghosts as well, which I think the next one I want to try uh, We could do a full investigation on Pierre as well because that's the one that we didn't fully have done yet uh, So now over here by the way, I know I'm going all over the place, but there it is. So now we have the re we have the, the The relic of you you and you which are all the three ghosts on this map that that we could exercise or that we could release It's not called an exorcism for a reason because we're not trying to destroy them. Oh, I Excuse me? Hi, this is Daniel on customer service. We have seen a recent order number AMZ0987 of iPro on your account, which is billed on your card attached to your account. The amount charged in $799. We noticed some Are suspicious activity on your account, so we have put on I'm hold this scanned? transaction. Please press 1 to talk to our customer care executive. Thank you. Are you serious? It's funny. I have never seen that before. That's so good. Uh, that's incredible. All right. Well, anyway, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna press one there. Get fucking scam call and Conrad Stevenson. That's incredible. Okay. So this. Look at this map, dude. It's almost completely done. Just the poltergeist, and then it is completed. Um, but we're not going there. We also have this one. Which is, I think we'll do this like full investigation another time because we could do two birds with one stone. We could maybe we'll do it later. Maybe we'll do it in a moment here. But I want to start off with the Bar Harbor Lighthouse where there is two ghosts that we can because both of these are intelligent. Let's start off with uh, what was your name again? Uh, I, I remember your name. Let me look. Well, I, I can look it up. That's what I mean. <laughs> Deirdre, Deirdre, Deirdre was the name. Deirdre was the name. I remember now. Okay. Anyway, uh, let's uh, let's add the items and get back in. Or you know what? No. Let's let's quickly do some investigation. Um, because I know the story of Deirdre, right? Deirdre was the mother that had uh many children and kept getting children because she really wanted a daughter, but she kept getting sons, and then uh she died in childbirth of uh their latest child which was very sad so obviously there's a lot of um grief there which is why the ghost never left this world deirdre hurley there we go i can't wait to hold my baby that's so sad i can't wait to hold my baby This will all be worth it. There, it's like in the the giving birth process. It's gonna kill me. Oh my god, this is so depressing. Jesus Christ, I'm sorry. Damn. EVP question: Is there anyone you anything you would like to tell me? It's haunted. It's haunted. Do you know why I'm here? Please leave. I can't find my baby. Why are you here? I can't find my baby? Damn. Deirdre, can you tell me your name? And there you go. Man, that's so much audio evidence. Okay, so that's the first one. Let's first do Deirdre, and then we'll listen to all the evidence of the... Uh, of the Dr. Gideon, I think was his name after that. Damn, that is very sad. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh boy, well this is uh, gonna be another one that hits right in the feelings. We're gonna grab the EMF and just this, and then I s found this relic before. Um, it was on top, of, or in their room over here. I don't know if, if it's gonna be there again, because it spawns in multiple places. It is there again, there you go, there's the relic. 
Uh, I'm gonna assume it's in their room right here. It is. Yes. No. Where's the fire? Smoking very hard, but there's no fire. There it is. Okay. Here we go. And these move fast. Holy shit. <laughs> Can I talk to you? Oh, I need to have this out. Whoops. Otherwise, I can talk to you. Yeah. Deirdre Hurley. Mel Melanie Peters. <laughs> Renee Novak. I'd like to acknowledge Deidre Hurley's presence. Deidre? I'm so... I've been pronouncing this wrong the whole time. Deidre? Deidre? What the hell? Wait, I still can't... I immediately forgot how it was pronounced. Uh, you're, it's a clock. This clock was yours, and it makes me think about how you might have been watching the hours on this tick by as you were trying to bring your baby into this world. Idra. I'm so very sad to hear about you and your baby. Oh, it was Batman. But we're going to set her free. This is, this is wholesome. <clears throat> Uh, what was the spirit's grief upon death? I would say des- uh, Strangely enough, I would say desperation or optimism. Acceptance, definitely not. <laughs> desperation for daughter, yeah, makes sense. Or optimism that they would get a daughter. But either way, it's like for the daughter. I'm gonna say, yeah. I can't imagine how you must have felt laboring a child for so long to lose it and yourself. You've been looking for your child for a long time, but your baby is not here. It is past and is at peace, so you can stop looking for her. You know where she is. It is time to be with her. Aww. Oh God. I forgot the, the model. There she goes. Goodbye. She's moving on. And Conrad, Conrad do be an actual hero in this universe, like sending all these. I should double check. I have the all these ghosts, like allowing all these ghosts and helping all of them to move on. But yeah, there you go. You can only do one uh, release ritual at the same time. So we're gonna have to leave this one, and then we're gonna listen to the audio for the uh, Dr. Gideon, which is also, I like how varied the stories are in this game. They aren't just all like evil ghosts or something, but there's like stories of children dying early because of like tuberculosis. There's a story like this. There's a story about serial killers. There is some fucked up stories like the like the Douglas Murdo Murdoch, which was literally just like a piece of shit. Uh, so they're not all like good people that just got like, uh, tra that tragically died or something like that. Um, there's there's a huge mix here. So now we're going for Doctor. I think his name was Doctor Gideon, um, and we're gonna listen to his audio. Or Harbor Lighthouse. It was Doctor Bonesaw, but that's the name. That's a nickname they gave him. What? <laughs> So this doctor used to help uh, during some war. I think it was either the Civil War or I think it was the Civil War. He helped. Uh, he was he worked in like a hospital for soldiers to uh, like help their or to just like as a as a doctor. Um, and he used to like have to do a lot of amputating legs and stuff like that because that's just what happens in wars. Uh, and that obviously gave him quite a bit of trauma. Bite this while I cut. I don't... Bite this while I cut! You're right! Bite this while I cut. Bite this while I cut. You guys are way better at this. This will hurt. This will hurt? Uh-oh. <laughs> so much death. So much death. You are in the gods' hands now. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? This must be done. This must be done? How many people are here other than me? Everywhere. 
They're everywhere. Why are you here? Removing limbs. Remove limbs. What the hell? That's his task in life. Can you tell me your name? I'm a surgeon, and that's it. Okay, I'm a surgeon. But I think we have. Didn't we have some notes on you? Wait, in the like archive, we have on the lighthouse. We have these two. This one. Why old amputee and barn? A tribute to what the barn was. Uh, and then we also in the wiki have uh these notes on the screams here what should haunt me forever is the screams uh by 9 or 1863 a terrible civil war was ravaging the country there was an unfathomable about of injured and dying for which the community tried their best to set up a general hospital the Hurley family volunteered the land just south of their house as a medical faci facility, tending to the wounded soldier. For family records, the Hurley family was completely unprepared for what they understood to be an act of compassion. This was a place of agony and anguish. Hundreds of limbs were piled up behind the building, and the yard had a blood-filled marsh 20 yards out from the east side of the building. Screams of agony could be heard regularly as infected and mangled limbs were sawed off. Dr. Arthur Gideon was the lead surgeon during this time and performed many of the amputation. Dr. Gideon was quoted as saying many years after his time as a field surgeon, my vocation has immun immunized, Im immunized me from disgust of blood and gore. What shall haunt me forever is the scream of those young men. It is t the totality of pain and suffering that so many young men endured. Incomprehensible greed justifying the death of countless youth. After the war ended, the family converted the general hospital into a stable and hired a stable ma master. Okay. Uh, and then, by the way, we about the previous ghost that we investigated, look at this. Um, did, did she made this? Deirdre made this, like, uh, I don't know, play, put you, thing you put your glass on. Uh, and apparently this indicates Deirdre was hopeful for a girl. I don't know. The, I, don't, I can't really read the name here, but I'm assuming this is a, a girl name. So it feels bad, man. That was, uh, that was for the last ghost. But anyway, now we're going to go. It's just little Dolly. I see. Now we're going to go to uh, Dr. Arthur Gideon and see if we can set you free which i'm not even sure now i'm as i'm assuming this is like he was just a doctor right doing his job but they painted him kind of in like a an unsympathetic light but i don't think he did anything wrong he just helped he just like he like helped people live like he, he saved their lives uh i i assume let's see so in here is where the this is now the barn which is the what used to be the hospital and if i remember correctly i don't know if the item is going to be in the same spot but this is where i found it the last time it is not in the same spot so we're gonna have to walk around real quick there it is there it is okay wait why is oh wait huh why is the emf not going off i thought these things were supposed to give emf well anyway we found it uh so this is the saw now let's see are you also over here uh, I think I see a little bit of fire. Is it going to be in the middle? Oh, here we go. Okay, it's at the entrance. Uh, there he is. This is going to be very interesting. I love how this gives a conclusion to the stories. Because it's really fun figuring all these things out ourselves. Like, we've been digging into all these ghosts of like ever since we started playing conrad but it's really fun to actually have like a canonical conclusion and a canonical story for these ghosts so we don't just have to like we can confirm that our suspicions were correct uh we are trying to communicate with arthur gideon i'd like to acknowledge arthur gideon's presence thank you german and war for the hundred and sheath thank you for the five Oh, Storbs, dude, he's going all over the place. He's showing off. What is the spirit's attachment? It's a saw. Your saw was very important to you. 
you were able to perform many surgeries with it. Many men who would have perished if not for your expert skill. Yes. Whee! Jennifer's body, thank you for the five gift subs and seal it, seal it. Thank you for the sex. Thank you, guys. What was this fear's grief upon death? Horror, I would say. I know you were forever haunted by the screams of those men in your hospital. I know you feel like you did not do enough to save them. I disagree. Many more would have died if you did not help them. You have no reason to doubt your efforts. It was just a terrible situation. You can be at peace knowing that everyone here at the lighthouse respects the difficult work you did. Let's go. Oh my God. Goodbye. Dude, look at that guy. Damn. <laughs> It's a dapper fellow. Yeah, indeed. It, that was when he was young. Because I, he didn't die here. He just, uh, he, he, this is where his ghost. I that's, should double check. I that's interesting because most ghosts in this game, where they, like, they, they died in the place where they started, like, was, like, starting to haunt. So, like, for example, De Deidre, uh, on, is haunting their own house. Whereas this guy died somewhere completely different and then his spirit went back here because this is where like part of his mind it part of his mind never left this building which is kind of like depressing <laughs> uh but yeah there you go we have set you free as well uh move on my friend you have done enough now we need to see which other ghost we could uh i think we're gonna do a church investigation uh, unless we have a few other intelligence here and there, but I don't think we do. I think we, we're we going to the church now. Here we are. So we are going to investigate two ghosts. We're going to investigate both Mr. Siegerstein, which is the former groundskeeper of the church grounds. And we're going to investigate Pierre. Now, both of these are some of my most uh, or some of my all time favorite ghosts in this game because they got really intricate and detailed stories attached to them which I think are really interesting. And I'm obviously gonna tell you all about those while we do the investigation here. Um, I think we're gonna start by hop, we're gonna go through Mr. Siegerstein's area, which Mr. Siegerstein is the, uh, the head of the family who used to do all the groundskeeping. There was a family here that generation after generation used to take care of all the plants and all the, the, the grounds, or the graveyard and stuff like that. Um, but then, it started to get too expensive for the church, so they just evicted them and hired a local contractor to do the work instead, uh, which put the family out of a job, so the entire family got <laughs> got evicted, basically, which obviously Mr. Siegerstein wasn't very happy with that, hence his ghost is haunting the place. Now, uh, Pierre is also a very interesting story which is over there that's why we're investigating both of these because they're literally right across the street from each other there's mr siegerstein that's the old groundskeeper house and here is pierre which is in the mausoleum now pierre is the architect i think of this building right here uh the architect of this mausoleum however after he built it it became a very controversial building because it became a super like um, soup, what the hell? A super exclusive burial site where only the, the like... temperature fluctuations appear to be normal. Only the hyper-rich and the super influential could bury their, uh, their, uh, their loved ones. Not, even if some regular Smo had enough money to bury someone here, the politics wouldn't allow it. So it became like this symbol of like uh the aristocracy and like the wealthy and the, the the influential which really like enraged the local population so the local population um got like started vandalizing the place uh and then they posted guards to prevent the vandalism from happening and then they placed so they couldn't vandalize anymore but then they started placing candles on the the pers on the graves and all the personal possessions of people and letting those candles burn out which obviously you can't stop someone from placing candles i mean you could but in the story you can uh you can't stop someone from placing a candle in a graveyard so the wax would like destroy the personal possessions here so it was like their silent oh 
their silent protest was placing those candles, um, which I found really interesting. There's someone walking around. Hello nice. there. Wait a minute. Am I going to find some? You're literally walking right here. Yeah, there he is. Oh, he disappeared. Come on, man. Uh, anyway, I can continue the story. Um, so that is the people who are really upset. Now, Pierre, who designed the mausoleum, who was the architect, was with the people. He was also against the uh like the the symbol that it became of like the the hyper wealthy and the aristocracy so he like joined the protests here and there but then he died suddenly and ironically enough they buried him in the mausoleum as a way to like i don't know <laughs> thank him for constructing the the mausoleum so this right here these two graves are mr uh lafabre or whatever you pronounce it i don't know how you pronounce it and mrs lafabre who died in a carriage accident so now what's super interesting that's not the, that's not the coolest part of the story the coolest part of the story that now even after death Lafa lafabre okay even after death pierre is still lighting candles on the graves as a silent protest now if we get lucky we might be able to see that we might be able to see the ghost walk by here and light candles on all the graves which is like a super cool it's pretty rare that it happens though so i don't know if we're gonna see it but anyway that's a little history lesson of the two ghosts that we're investigating here now we actually gotta put in the work uh we gotta find oh there there wait a minute we found immediately as i say that we got to put in the work mm, i, I find full temperatures let's go that's the first step Something of the evidence can i please these get emf as well yeah dude we're going crazy with it now pierre has been an absolute champ for a long funny. time I if you if you've watched any of my old videos on the church map like the when EMF it first came out should not behave this way this is often hard. how I used to play on the church map is that I would go to Pierre to collect some easy evidence and then I would uh, go investigate whatever ghost I was actually interested in. So Pierre has helped me out many a time. Uh, we already have uh, two temperature readings. We already have two EMF and we got one piece of audio evidence. Now, uh, back when we investigated Pierre, we didn't have the like auto cam and stuff like those items were added later. So we're quickly gonna grab those to make our investigation even easier uh, and also maybe the paramic because the paramic was absolutely instrumental for investigation of the new ghost uh on the lighthouse map it was super useful so it might be useful here as well all right let's set up our cam so pierre can walk around this whole hallway very frequently uh and we're gonna Excuse me. I need to have the audio because I missed the audio there. Now, I didn't grab this the EMF this time because I just didn't have the inventory slots for it, which I think is fine because that thing doesn't do much anyway. <laughs> it's useful sometimes. We're going to grab the photo cam just in case it shows itself. And then we're going to start using some of this audio equipment because that's the, all we need. We already got a photo, obviously. All we need from Pierre is, there is anyone here their who would audio. Like to speak with me? their audio evidence to 100% to them. Because by the way, if you didn't know, you have to 100% uh, a ghost before you can do the release ritual. Uh, because it's like a, you, you need to show that you have fully investigated the ghost and know everything about them. That's, uh, let's Is get some Is there anyone stuff. here? Dark Star Rising, think of it the 23. Oh wait, here, wait, look at this. Excuse me, look at the candles. Those were not here before. <laughs> wait, whoa, 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 whoa. He's been here. That's what I'm talking about. He did it. And there's more candles. No, is there more candles? Wait, how did we not see that? Wait, I definitely did not see that. Did the camera capture it? Wait, we need to check. Did you get it? You did not take a photo. Okay, we got to place this closer. Damn, that's cool. That's exactly... Maybe he does it sometimes as well without, like, showing himself. Because I've seen him walk by and then place the candles. But maybe he can also do it like this. Okay, look at that. So this is the protest. Oh, and I can blow them out. But I don't know why I'd want to do that. I'm going to just leave all the candles on here. Oh. Oh, hi there. What the hell? Excuse me. That was a very unusual noise. Where oh, are you going? Where are you going? Excuse me. Incredible. Pierre, Pierre. Hello. Ghost on film. Hello. Where are you going? 
What was that? I'm glad I captured it with a recorder. He's walking out. Excuse me. What the hell? Pierre, you... You... You dapper son of a bitch. Yeah, he looks fancy as hell. Wow, He's got a top hat and everything. Is. Okay. Well, we're not getting the evidence we're looking for, but yeah, he is, he is walking. He's definitely walking here. Oh, Pierre has looked at me before. I don't think he's a residual. And even if he's a residual, we can still get rid of... We can still release him because the residuals uh, release system is already in the game. So regardless if he's a residual or not, we can do the mission. But I'm pretty sure he's intelligent. But why, how could he be? No, no, no. By definition, he has to be intelligent because residuals cannot interact with their environments. So how the hell would he be placing candles Is he wa if he wasn't an intelligent ghost? Obviously, he's intelligent. Yeah, 100%. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? We? We? Wow. That sounded like a response. Nice. We already got that, that response, or did it move closer? I don't think it moved. Okay, we? Wait a minute. Maybe Pierre and his wife? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? We? <laughs> Wait! I'm pretty sure we used to think that said we, but it Is says we like with W. <laughs> yeah, me, me going to the bakery at my camp campground. Je voudrais un baguette, s'il vous plaît. And then holding up my hands as like a four-year-old hoping to get a baguette <laughs> with like the prepaid amount. Just like one hand hold out for baguette, other hand, please take this money. My parents gave me the exact amount. I don't know what I just said, but please take it. <laughs> that was me. My parents would always send me to get the bread for the morning. <laughs> Let's go. We got something. Ah, it's still the same, dude. Why are we not getting any new audio evidence? Man, this guy is playing hard to get. I thought there was a system in the game where it mostly gave you audio that you didn't already have. Do you know why I'm here? Oh! Wow. That sounded like a response. Let's go! One more, one more. Okay, I think it's mostly gonna be EVP then. Okay, we just gotta be persistent on the EVP. How I know? How I know? What is that supposed to mean? How many people are here other than me? How I know? Oh! Why, my question was, why am I how here? here? How How would I know? <laughs> that me. was his response, lol. I, just, I see. That's so silly. How the heck would I know why you're here? I see now. Is this your home? He's gonna respond, je ne parle pas anglais, or whatever you the like fuck. like the current family living here? Just stop talking to me in English, you idiot. I had two years of French in school. Can you tell me Which your was name? the the legally minimum amount of time before I could ditch it forever. <laughs> Can you tell me your name? Until I could just do German instead, because German is fucking easy peasy freebie. German is just fucked up Dutch, so you just say shit in a German accent and you just pretend like you know what you're talking about. Do you know why? Oh, I already here? said this one. <laughs> German teacher scared me. I had an insane you German teacher. Here? Like, I don't know what it is with German teachers, but not to put my my teacher on blast, How but they were pretty freaking unhinged. Other than me. They, they they were like the the embodiment of you look like your dog because they they live uh they live very close to where i was so me. i would usually see them when i would like go to school like walk oh hi there Wait. wow that sounded like a response <laughs> Dude, <laughs> this, is, this relic is his top hat that's insane <laughs> that's amazing okay but anyway lore the lore of my german teacher uh i would see them uh, like walking their dog and their dog was like this fluffy dog like he was like he had crazy hair and she also had insane hair her hair was like freaking like as if you put your finger into a freaking power outlet and then like psh, like that was the hair <laughs> like i don't even know how she did it it was like fucking crazy um regardless though we gotta do we, we go over to the other uh guy now because we need to leave and come back to Pierre 
to do the investigate or to, to get the relic so we now should do some investigation on Siegerstein. thank you pierre for doing all your stuff um and she used to refer it was like a classic uh person who you who refers to their uh like dogs as like babies that i still oh hi what the fuck excuse me my brother in christ chill the hell out so uh there was this time there was this one class that i remember where she was like we're gonna get another baby and everyone was like oh congratulations uh and then she was like yeah it's 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 like a poodle or something and we were all like oh <laughs> oh okay <laughs> you can't say that <laughs> you can't do that that's not fair <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> is there anyone here she who would ain't like to wrong. speak with I mean, true, but the way she said it just made everyone think that she was pregnant, but then she was like, she just got is a there dog, anyone here who would which like is to totally speak understandable. Okay, but now, so, after, whatever, my anecdote aside, we are, um, we are here. She was really good at teaching, by the way. <laughs> not, not to, no, no. I will not speak ill of my German teacher. She was she was method acting. That's that's what I'm going with here, because um, I I passed my German class flawlessly. Uh, so we're here now investigating um, the Siegerstein ghost, which I already talked about, which was the family, the head of the family who used to take care of the the grounds here. Now also apparently, Mr. Siegerstein has a note that I have not found yet. Which means uh, we should look around a little bit to see if we can find this note. And also we should look for audio evidence. Because that's probably what we're missing. Maybe an EVP. I would assume it's going to be EVPs. Which is going to be pretty difficult. Because EVPs are just like very tough to get. But where is this relic? Maybe we're not going to find it. Like a freaking pickaxe rake. A rake axe. Also it's raining right now which is amazing i love rain not in the game in real life by the way in case you are hi it wasn't him it was wasn't me this guy be I'll acting like shaggy evidence. over here maybe we gotta like leave may i i think i might have to do like a better oh there it is there it is yes look at that <laughs> what the hell are these smudged faces there it is Abraham Siegerstein, Daniel Siegerstein, Ezra Siegerstein, Mahala Siegerstein, and Rachel Siegerstein. It's the family of cursed faces. What the fuck? Someone had fun in Photoshop. Uh, so yeah, that is the other the other note on this person, which we already had one note, but we missed that note. So you can see that the family did actually live here. I think it's gotta be EVPs that we're missing here. Probably missing like one or two EVPs. But we're just gonna have to sit here and talk until we get them. Like to tell me? Green Mao. I've heard of Green Mao before. Never watched it though. Can you tell me your name? I am very. Oh. What? Wow, that sounded like a response. Okay, one more. I don't know what that was, but let's go. One more. What? What did that say? Why are you here? We need to re-listen to these. Last was kind of bite. I mean. Like, any M9... I can't... I don't even know what his real name is anymore. I've been calling him M9 Shamalama Ding Dong for so long. I don't know what his real name is. <laughs> What's his real name? <laughs> but M9 Shamalama Ding Dong. <laughs> he makes some pretty bad movies. <laughs> Please, <laughs> it's ubiquitous. Title Shama Shamalan, Shamalan. Oh, let's go. Oh, come on. Ooh, that is eerie audio evidence. The Avatar movie was so horrendous. I'm not talking about the Avatar movies. I'm talking about the last last Airbender bullshit. Not bullshit, but the 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 live action movie was bullshit. <laughs> Why are you here? We don't speak about that movie. Oh, let's go! We did it! Nice! Wow, that sounded <laughs> like a response. Okay, why are you here? Was the missing link there? Man, that took forever. 
Uh, sorry for the random talking about movies that you probably mostly missed because we just cut through that because it was taking forever. We just started talking about movies. Uh, okay, so now we have done both of these ghosts 100%. So now we're going to leave and then we're going to come back and then do both of their, um, their release rituals, which I'm especially... I, I want to... I'm going to do Siegersteins first because I am most excited to, to do Pierre's one. So I want to keep that one for last. Just so we, we have the, the epic one at the very end. Okay, so we have Angel of the Mausoleum is Pierre. Mr. Siegerstein is the one we're going to do first. So let's listen to you first. It wasn't him. It wasn't him. It wasn't him. It wasn't him. And he came and then they call me red-handed to sneak it with the girl next door. It wasn't him. <laughs> it wasn't him, guys. Anyway. Cops raced in Mars. What? Cops raced in Mars. Cops raced in Mars. Can't you rest in what? Cops raced in Mars. <laughs> Cops raced in Mars. Cops arrested Boris? Cops raced in Mars. Something like that? Cops arrested Boris or keep them safe. Consolation prize? Cops raced in Mars. That would make sense, but I don't think it's cops arrested Miles. Keep them safe. Keep him safe? Anything you'd like to tell me? Mine! Mine! <laughs> Mine. They were they obviously wanted to keep their place. Uh, do you know why I'm here? Find me. Find me. Find me in the most like freaking Elmo voice of all time. Find me. Find me. Find me. Yes. Is this your home? Yes! Of course. That was that was the missing was that the missing link? Why are you here? No, that was it. This mine. This mine. This mine. <laughs> this mine. Eight. 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 Nate. Eight. Nate or hate? Okay, and that's it. All right, so we're gonna listen to Pierre's voice uh, voice lines in just a bit. Uh, now it is time to do um, to do you uh, to do you with your lantern. Of course, you're holding your lantern. I'm curious, like what? Obviously, he's like he might his grief upon death might be anger because he was a connect like he was literally. Uh, evicted from his house with his whole family because someone else could do his job cheaper, which uh, feels a little too close to home with AI <laughs> nowadays, but uh, it happened with automation and just like cheaper labor as well, of course. Uh, so see, first of all, we got to find the item, which is probably going to be in the house, but it can always spawn in multiple location. K-pop boy, thank you for the two. The plump pumpkin. Thank you for the seven. Well, there it is. Easy. Is that it? It's giving EMF. There. It's the lantern. Can I pick it up though, please? There you go. Okay, we found the lantern. Is it gonna be right here? It is not burning. Oh, there they are. Okay. Wow. So you. This one is gone complicated. It's at his graves, or at his grave, which is like. Uh, this way from the toilet. There it is. Okay, that took me quite a bit to find. Boom. There he goes. Spinning in circles, making me all confused. And we finally get a good look at this guy. Because I don't ever really remember having a great look. So you're gonna be... Oh, God. I mean, it's not Avra. It's gonna be Ezra? I'd like to acknowledge yes. Ezra Siegerstein's presence. If you didn't catch that it was Siegerstein by now, you have not paid any attention. Here's the lantern. I understand you would use this lantern while burying your friends and acquaintances in the evening. It was a very difficult time when you were a keeper here. The war took many loved ones away from their families. 
I know how important your loved ones are to you. That is why you are here. You feel like you need to protect them. I see. And now the last line. This one has so much backstory as well. They really wrote up this so much lore. Um, I would. Is he angry? I would say angry. I would be mad too. I think how the church evicted your family was awful. Although that was several decades ago, and your family is happily living in other parts of the city, you no longer need to be a part of this house because your family has moved on. Be at peace. Let's go. Oh, there he goes, dude. Look at this guy. We need screenshots. Oh, goodbye. Nice. He finally gets to move on. I'm taking this. This is coming with me. I'll keep the lantern safe. That is such a good relic, the lantern. I should double check. I have the relic before I leave. I do have the relic in my inventory. Okay, so that was... Oh my god, it's so large. <laughs> what the fuck? I didn't even realize. It takes up like half the screen. Uh, so yeah, that is uh, Mr. Siegerstein. He can now finally stop being angry and move on. Which he had good rights to be angry, but his family is... is has since uh, gone in a better place, I hope at least. Uh, so now it is time for Pierre. Here, okay, let's listen to his audio first before we do anything else. What now? I, I'm sorry. Is he saying my my my? You know what? <laughs> What does he say? <laughs> Me bullshit. Me bullshit? <laughs> Me bushy. It sounds like it. Me bushy. Bushy? Does he say something French? Me bushy. Me bushy? It's, fr it's my candles? Oh, that makes so much sense. My candles. Oh, let's go. Baba baba ba toujours. Baba baba ba today. What the hell? Pour toujours at the end. Yeah. But what else? <laughs> what the fuck? I'm gonna turn up the audio for this one. Something pour toujours. French people working overtime. Can you slow it down? It doesn't help, I can assure you, but I can try. Je. What is. Je t'aime. What is je t'aime I put toujours? I love you forever. I will wait for you forever. Okay. That is definitely it. I will wait for you forever. We figured it out. It took us quite a while. There you go. Oh, let's play at normal speed again. What? I don't know. I can't even make anything out. Good luck with that one. I'm not French anymore. <laughs> Slow it down. I don't think it helps. That does seem... What does that mean? Because that does seem kind of what it says. Is it... Yeah, that makes sense. I regret this project. Yes. Let's go. Good job, guys. Nice. We. 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 It's definitely we and not like W E. It's it's we. Is there anything you would like to tell me? Bourgeois. What's bourgeois? What does that mean? Bourgeois. Is 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 happiness? 
Okay. Happiness? Interesting. Why? How I know? How I know? <laughs> I love that that's the only English. Do you know why I'm here? How would I know, you idiot? <laughs> Stop talking to me in English. How I know? <laughs> Buku. Buku. <laughs> Many. Dude, I'm French too, baby. Let's go. What? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> this is not Pierre, but okay. Anyway, eh, okay, we did it. We 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 figured it out somewhat. Maybe uh, we know this guy, Pierre Lefavre, and we'll, we'll. I I know his story inside out. We'll be fine. We might like misclick here and there, but we basically like. This is one of my like favorite stories because I just love the way they've written it. Oh, there it is. Look at the hat. <laughs> Dude, look at that top hat. Now I'm assuming his uh, thing is gonna be right at his grave, which might just be this. Yeah, there you go. Okay, I wanna see you, buddy. There he goes. So after this one, I think there's one more intelligent, which is on, um, one uh, which is i think the boy in blue but i don't think we'll do that one today because we need to do a full investigation for that one as well pierre i'd like to acknowledge pierre lefebvre's presence lefebvre <laughs> i don't think that's how you pronounce it but you tried <laughs> oh no <laughs> conrad no <laughs> lefebvre <laughs> What is this spirit's attachment? Stop it. Your hat is very nice. It's too bad I found it here. I know you don't like being entombed here either. I think your mausoleum is beautiful. It's not your fault what the city folks did with it. Everyone understands your story now. You are trying to help the community. There. It's just something so satisfying about like, having pieced together all these people's stories and then like getting to hear that you were right that you knew their story the whole time uh oh this is a bit of a betrayal or embarrassment that's a tough one was he more interested in i think I, hmm, oh the game volume is too loud um is he more interested in what the... I, I would say betrayal. Because embarrassment will be the selfish thing. Let's go betrayal. Our city admires yes. your mausoleum. And we all appreciate the passion you had for your work. This building doesn't represent the social divide that it did. You can rest peacefully beside Lucille knowing that. Let's go. There he goes, dude. Look at this dapper fellow. He looks mighty fine. Look at this French lad. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that mustache. <laughs> the fucking the French with the mustache. <laughs> That's so good. All right. Well, there you, we need to take the relic, of course. We need to send it to the to, to the sure museum. I put this relic somewhere safe. Amazing, dude. What a what a crazy like set of updates they've given this game. It's so like fantastically like finishes this game because that's what I heard that this is gonna be like. Like after this is all like working perfectly, this is like the the fin the the end of Conrad Stevens' paranormal PI, which makes a lot of sense because this is like moving towards the finale of uh like what what this game uh like all because once all the ghosts are gone, like what are you gonna do? They're all gone, right? Like the it's it's very clear indeed that the dev had it planned from the very beginning. Like all these stories were built. Like, maybe not at the very beginning he knew, like, some of the stories, but, like, it, it was always this was the idea. To have a game where all the ghosts have, like, interesting backstories that you have to read about in the wiki. You have to investigate them yourself by finding notes, by going into the missions, and, uh, like, getting audio evidence and stuff. Like, we've been playing this game for so long, and it took us actually quite a bit before we figured out that that was the purpose of the game like initially it just felt like or we just assumed it was another ghost hunting game but then we slowly figured out no it's not it's like the most unique ghost hunting game ever made uh, and there they are you got the <laughs> the top hat and the 
the lantern as well as the uh, the goblet for the other ghost. And now I think there's only one intelligent left, if I am remembering it correctly, which is on this map. This one right here, which we only need one more audio and the photo. But we're not going to do that right now because I, I, I think we've played enough. Um, I want to... We'll, we'll, we'll do more and more... Um, release rituals when they do the next update which will probably not be very long because they've been going absolutely crazy with the updates maybe even next week who knows oh and who knows anyway thank you guys so much for watching over on youtube let me know what you thought i enjoyed it very much and i hope you did as well if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it and if you want to join the lovely gamers here in chat you can join us over at twitch.tv slash sim or get the link in the description down below thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one bye guys have a good one bye 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 youtube